I told you things were going to get out of control, and they are getting far beyond out of control at this point, and it's only going to get crazier because the walls are closing in. They can feel the enthusiasm for Donald Trump. They can feel the enthusiasm for Keep America Great Again. They can feel the fact that the President of the United States has the support of the American people, and they're getting desperate. And this insanity out of Denver is mind blowing and it continues to get worse and worse and there's absolutely positively no way that it can be defended without you exposing yourself as a lying hypocritical left-wing lunatic and that is exactly what is going on right now nine news out of denver is facing an avalanche i mean the lawsuits coming their way is unbelievable to even think about But here we have it, and this is Cernovich who says, Nine News hired a Trump-hating far left-wing goon, gave him a gun, and brought him to a pro-Trump event. This is terrorism, and this is Nine News. Update, a private security guard hired by Nine News is being held as a suspect in a deadly shooting. A Nine News producer has been has uh, been released after uh, Denver Police Department said it was determined they were not involved in the incident. Uh, except uh, City of Denver... Matthew Doloff was not a licensed uh, was not licensed to be a security guard. He wasn't licensed to be a security guard, but Nine News said they hired a private security guard, brought him to an event, a pro-Trump event, gave him a gun, and now a man is dead. A Trump supporter is dead. This is unbelievable. Here we have Andy. No, Denver police have released the booking photo of sus- of shooting suspect that allegedly killed a conservative participant at a Patriot rally yesterday. Doloff's social media history shows far left views, but he was at a rally as security for nine news security. This is unbelievable. Ladies and gentlemen, we are looking, we are looking at unprecedented things going on right now in the mainstream media this is truly unbelievable like this is truly incredible here's posobiac uh hey nine news every outlet in denver except you is reporting that you paid an unlicensed security guard to bring a gun to protest uh who then shot to a protest who then shot and killed a trump supporter what this is unbelievable The lawyers are going to win this one, by the way. Unlicensed armed security guard means big, big lawsuits. You better believe it. And then, uh, Memology has a lot of videos breaking down a lot of the details with this individual and how far radical left he was. Anti-Trumper, pro-Bernie. And again, being a pro-Bernie person doesn't make you a bad person per se, but what it does show us is a pattern of behavior, and the mainstream is going to protect this. It's funny how it's funny how when some when someone uh, on the far left uh, kills someone in cold blood, then they they think that it's okay to pull the whole oh it was a private security guard. Suddenly, law and order matters to these people. I mean, it's absolutely insane. And they're going to try and spin it and manipulate it, but they are running out of excuses. And the American, the American people are seeing it right through this. They are seeing through it. Joe Biden, he can't even get 15 people together for a rally. You've got enthusiasm all over the place from people of all different races and backgrounds. Everybody is enthusiastic for Trump. Everybody with common sense, that is, is enthusiastic for Donald Trump because they see what is going on with the media, with the far left, with Hollywood and all of the other nonsense. And again, like I told you, we are only heading for more craziness. The media is desperate. The far left is desperate. Hollywood is desperate. The big tech companies are desperate. And they are starting to lose grip big time. And once you start losing grip, things start slipping through your fingers. And that's exactly what is going on with this situation right here. Absolutely ridiculous, unacceptable. And my heart goes out to the patriot that lost his life uh, in this situation to he and his family. Absolutely ridiculous, unacceptable. 
But this is Joe Biden's America right here. This is the America that Joe Biden and Kamala Harris want. And this is the America that you will get if they are elected. That is the reality of the situation. Vote in person. Vote for Trump. Keep America great. Thank you guys for checking out this video. I will continue to update you as more information comes out. Subscribe to Memology 101. My brother just hit 300,000 subs. He is killing it over there. I'm so proud of him. And uh, I'll put a link to his channel in the description. You guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.